This certainly is terrible news from uh, United States of America. Donald Trump uh, has just missed uh, the assassination attempt at, on him. Now, this is really alarming. Uh, the ex-president of uh, United States of America and the gun culture is growing so big in America that the current government or the past governments uh, never ever tried to tackle this issue. I know in every country there are licenses for these uh, guns or pistols or rifles and all these things, but surely they are not serving any good purpose. Like in United Kingdom, uh, you can't have gun, rifle or anything like that. It's a criminal offense. So why can't they adopt this in United States of America? First of all, the FBI, uh, I believe, um, their approach was very, very weak. I mean, it's a big rally in Pennsylvania, United States of America. And uh, this uh, person who got killed by the FBI was about 130 meters away on top of a roof and uh, was approaching with the gun uh, towards uh, his target and it was noticed by uh, witnessed uh, public members those certainly raised the alarm and spoke with the police around and they were just seems to be lost what's happening during that time of course uh, the person um, the assassin uh, targeted uh, and achieved his target because he hit uh, one side of uh, his ear of uh, Donald Trump, who was uh, taken to hospital and now he has been um, released uh, from the hospital, discharged from the hospital. But the concern is still there that how come this person in the presence of FBI got that close to the president? The other worst thing happened is this person has been killed. Should he been captured, would he been captured, then there would be, would have been uh, a lot of investigation and uh, uh, the motive would have been known. But now the person is dead. Uh, who planted him there, who he was working for, what happened, all these ifs and buts. There will be a lot of uh, stories uh, taking place if he would have not been shot or killed by FBI. During this uh, attempted assassination, although Donald Trump was safe, but another uh, person who was attending the rally uh, died, unfortunately. And there are a couple of uh, people, those are seriously injured. Uh, so once again, this culture of guns should have never ever been allowed in United States of America. We have seen in the past, we have heard in the past, even youngster, kids, students, they have used the gun. They had access to the guns. And uh, I mean, so many, uh, we have seen um, murders taking place in the schools by the students that he's gone, to ho he's gone home and brought the gun out and start shooting people uh, in the school. So this... I think this is really, really alarming for the uh, current government of United States of America to get rid of this uh, gun culture. So we'll have a safe environment where everybody can uh, live or breathe safely. So I'm glad Donald Trump is safe. And uh, this sort of action sh would not be uh, tolerated in any shape or form. And uh, the rally goes on, so it's a pre presidential uh, elections coming soon. So let's see who's going to win. Although the uh, current president, Biden, condemned this, uh, whatever has happened, and everybody would do that because taking somebody's life like this is, uh, is not uh, encouraged or appreciated by anyone. So I hope uh, there'll be peace around the world and this culture of guns would finish forever.